guys welcome back to my channel first of all can we just take a moment and appreciate my sweater oh my gosh is this not the best christmas sweater you've ever seen in your life look how cute oh my gosh i love it now that i got that out of my system let's move on to the video so today i wanted to do a double unboxing for you guys another boxy charm versus ipsy situation so let's get started as always, I'm going to compare both of the subscription boxes and give the final winner at the end, so stay tuned. So first, we're going to cover the Ipsy bag. This is this one's Ipsy bag, and it is so pretty. It looks so festive, and the back is like this faux leather. So pretty. The first item in the bag is this nail polish by Trust Fund Beauty. I believe we've gotten this before, the same brand. And this brand is 10 free, vegan, cruelty free. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the shade is zero carbs. I may not be zero carbs this holiday season, but my nail polish is. Anyways, this is the color. It's like this dusty lavender shade. And it is the shade I have on my fingers today. And it's actually really great like the formula is amazing this is after just one swipe i didn't have to go back and do another layer i i could obviously if i wanted to but it was like one swipe and full coverage so it was awesome the brush was perfect it laid on the polish perfectly with no streaks or anything i did use a base coat i didn't use a top coat but i did use a base coat and this is the shine you get without a top coat normally i would have probably had a top coat but I just wanted to test out the formula to see if it would chip or anything, and it didn't, and it's really pretty. I don't know, the color is kind of growing on me. This is a great addition to my nail polish collection. Next, we have the Maraud Resurgence Renewing Eye Cream. You can use it AM or PM, and you just have to gently pat around the eye area. It's supposed to brighten the eye area and firm it and reduce signs of aging. And I did use it under my foundation today, but... I mean, obviously you can't tell if it worked or not by one use, but look how big the box is and look how tiny the sample is. Like, what? You can fit like 10 of these in here. <sighs> really? <clears throat> the size was kind of irritating, but I mean, I like that we got an eye cream. We'll see if it works. I'll let you guys know in the description box after I've finished this. This was all right. The size is what like <sighs> irritated me. The next item in the bag is this H2O Beauty Oasis Hydrating Treatment. It's a water gel moisturizer. It moisturizes your skin for 24 hours, is what it claims. I really like the scent. It really smells like, like a very fresh, watery scent. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, just very clean. I also really like the gel consistency. It was very cooling on the skin and I don't know I, I just really liked how it felt. It did moisturize my skin very well so I like this. The next thing in the box is this brush which I actually used for my crease shade and it is by Fer Farah Beauty. It just says Farah. Farah? Farah? I don't know. Farah. I'm gonna go with Farah. Anyways, it was a very, very soft brush. I love crease brushes. I think they're like my favorite type of brush. I don't know if that's like a thing, but I love crease brushes and I was really excited to get this. It applied my shadow perfectly, blended it out perfectly. I love this brush. Next, we have this eyeshadow from The Balm. It's in the shade Bootylicious. It's so pretty. It's like this rich brown shade. Well, it's not really like a, a regular brown. It's like a Dr. Pepper brown. There's like a little bit of red in it. And it's actually really, really pretty all over the lids. And I really, really like it. It's so smooth and blended out perfectly. And I just really, really like the name. Bootylicious. And the final product in the Ipsy bag was this Ciate Glitter Flip liquid lipstick and these liquid lipsticks you're supposed to put them on and when you press your lips together it turns glittery i guess i didn't wait long enough for the liquid lipstick to actually dry so when i pressed my lips together i kind of lifted off some of the lipstick but i did see the reaction like the the glitter showing through after i did that and 
it kind of blew my mind. It was kind of crazy. It wasn't like over the top, but it was it was nice. It was especially for this time of year when you want, you know, glitter everything like me. This is perfect. And I really like the shade as well. It's actually a really pretty shade. Okay, moving on to BoxyCharm. So this one's theme is Tis the Seas Sea Sun. Oh. <laughs> Tis the Sea like S-E-A and then sun, S-U-N. So they, I guess they were going for like a beach theme, which is interesting to do during winter, but you know, whatever. The first item is this Wonder Beauty Wondrous Dusk to Dawn blush and highlighter palette. And it has three shades, Tuscan Sunrise, Havana Nights, and City Lights. This was all right. First of all, if it's like a blush palette, I don't like these like skinny long pans. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's something like, ugh, I don't know. It's not convenient to put your brush in, but I mean, you know, obviously you can just swirl it around. And for my cheeks, I ended up swirling these two together and using it on my cheeks. And I used this as the highlight. The, the highlight is a little bit dark for me, but I still really liked it. I used it as my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight as well. These were kind of powdery though. When I dip my brush into it, it, this one especially, Tuscan Sunrise, kind of crumbles so easily and I was just like ugh, kind of put off by that. But it did give a really pretty result, so this was all right. The next item in the box is by Marajo Hair Care and these are anti-frizz soothing serum capsules and it comes with 10 capsules. You're supposed to apply it to damp hair prior to drying, so Unfortunately, my hair is super dry right now. I will use these and of course let you know down in the description box below uh, when I do use these. So I don't know how many of these capsules I'm gonna need for all of my hair because I have a lot of hair, but I will let you guys know. The next item in the box is this Bodyography Lip Pencil in Barely There. This was all right. I really liked the color. The color was really pretty, but the pencil, was so rough. I mean, I'm sure this will like stay on your lips forever, but I just, I don't know. I really like the smooth lip liners and especially the ones that you can roll up. I don't like pencil lip liners. I just, I don't. Pencil anything, pencil eyeliners, pencil lip liners. I just don't like them, but the color was really pretty though. The next item in the box was this Tartiest Shimmering Lip Paint. And I got mine in the shade Flaming Hot. And it is this super glittery magenta shade. And the sh I mean, the shade was all right. I, I mean, I don't mind the shade at all actually, but the applicator kind of dispenses like barely any product. It's really irritating. I had to like dip the little applicator in like 15 times to finally get the you know amount that I wanted. And I just placed it in the center of the lips. So oh my gosh, I would have been here all day if I, I was doing my entire lips. But I was really excited to get something from Tarte. I'm always excited when they put something from Tarte in the box. And these lip glosses are actually like perfectly shimmery and they add just enough glitter to make your lips look really nice and juicy and plump. So I actually did really like this. I like the formula as well. It doesn't feel gritty or anything like that. And last, but certainly not least, is this little hair straightener. Oh my gosh. This is from the brand PYT and it's a mini hair straightener. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. And I just looked on the uh, BoxyCharm Instagram and I saw that they had like a baby pink. They had like so many other colors like baby pink and lavender and I think like a baby blue or something. Man, I really wish I got like the the baby pink. The, I don't know, this color is kind of frightening. <laughs> it's so much more neon than what's coming off on camera. This is like blinding neon, okay? It's like a blinding neon green and I'm not a huge fan of this color, like at all. I still really like that they included a straightener in the box. Let me see how much this is. This retailed for $75. It, this was in a box that you only paid $21 for, what? How crazy is that? This is so awesome. What a great Christmas gift. Thank you, BoxyCharm. Oh my gosh, I was just so impressed that they included this. And it actually did straighten my hair. And obviously I wouldn't use this to straighten all of my hair because I have a lot of hair, as you can see. But I normally just straighten my like front here, like on both sides to frame my face and that's it. Like I don't, I never straighten my hair, like all of my hair. And 
um, this would be so perfect for travel because that's all I do. I just straighten the front. Yeah, this was like actually perfect for me. BoxyCharm definitely scored major points with me for that one. My favorite items in this month's Ipsy bag have definitely got to be the nail polish, the liquid lipstick by Ciate, the brush, and the eyeshadow from The Bomb really really pretty and my favorite items in this month's boxy charm have definitely got to be the tardiest lip paint as well as the mini straightener of course so this month is actually difficult because i actually liked four out of the six items in ipsy bag and ipsy bag is only 10 bucks and i only really liked two out of the five items in boxy charm and you pay 21 dollars per month oh i need to do some math all right, so I have done the math. So throughout the video, I've graded each of the items out of five and then averaged all of the scores. So Boxy Charm ended up getting a 3.8 out of five and Ipsy Bag ended up getting a 3.7 out of five. So the winner for this month is Boxy Charm. All right, guys, so that's it for my Ipsy versus Boxy video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your subscription boxes this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.